Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout in PFL between Ray Cooper III versus Derek Brunson. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going, I'm going to average confidence on Ray Cooper III to beat Derek Brunson. Um, so there's a couple of things riding against Derek Brunson this one. You know, he got things in his favor, but he got things against his favor. And I think one thing that stands out big is that UFC fighters coming to PFL typically don't have, at least especially guys that are, you know, kind of already at the end of their road, which Derek Brunson pretty much is. I think a lot of times in their first debut fights, they don't have the best success. A lot of times they get finished in their debut, so that's something. <laughs> so I think as well, I think he'll lose. I think he'll get finished as well. I'm going average confidence, Ray Cooper, the third. And like, like I was saying, I feel with his name going against him. So um, the two things, like he was debuting in, U in Bellator, coming from U, not Bellator, <laughs> debuting in PFL, coming to from UFC. And that track record has not been good. And then another thing is he's a primarily a wrestler. He definitely has a lot of knockouts on his career, a lot of first-round stoppages, even submissions and finishes and whatnot. But he is a wrestler. And I think he's getting to that point in his age either where he like, it's not a TRT era and you can't be like 50 years old and have still have the cardio you had when you were in high school if not getting better, having better cardio than you ever had in your life at 50. This is not UFC like 2009, 2011, 2012. This is... Um, or MMA in general. This is MMA in um, 2023. And um, it's like, I don't think Derek is a guy that takes drugs or anything like that. And that's just, I don't know him in person. I don't know his personal life, but I don't think he's got to take drugs. So, and from what I've been saying in his fights, I just feel like his gas tank for wrestling is not there. You saw in the Drinky Duplacy fight, you know, he kind of just faded. You seen in other fights, he just faded. And at least in other fights, maybe would like, had to take a lot of damage. Like, you know, like maybe the Yoro Romero fight when he was in his prime, they both kind of, well, Romero. Came in the UFC when he was like 90 years old. But um, I think Derrick Brunson was like 32, whatever case it may be. Whatever case it may be. But yes, you saw that fight. He faded because Ali Merrill was hitting with some big shots. So he wore down. And that was like third round. He was doing good through two rounds. The third round, he just, the accumulation of damage wore on. But yeah, now he's just getting tired, not even taking no real damage and just fading in these fights. So he's getting he's getting to that point and getting to that age, or he's in that age and he's at that point where. He really can't wrestle like he would did in the past, like maybe like a Lorenz Larkin type of performance where he just wrestle and hold on to Lorenz Larkin for 15 minutes. I just don't think he has that in him no more. And to be able to get those takedowns and be able to fight hard for every single of those takedowns, he, I just think that he doesn't have in him anymore. He might be able to look good for maybe a round and a half, but I think, yeah, I think he's, he's just going to fade in this one. And yeah, so another good thing, he has size, and Ray Cooper isn't really a true middleweight or never really a middleweight. So he has, again, he has his benefits in this one. But to get to the point of this one, I think, yeah, I just think Brunson's not going to be able to wrestle for 15 minutes. I think he's definitely always been susceptible to getting caught and wobbled and finished in fights, that even in his prime now and forever. And also now he's going to have to punch down. He already doesn't have the best technique or the most traditional technique. So he already punches kind of awkward. So now punching down is going to be even more awkward. But I do feel like he can try to wrestle and do okay for like a round. But I think eventually it's going to be start to mouth breathe a little bit, start to reach with his punches, and definitely now punching down against a short, stocky, squatty, um, Ray Cooper third, I think he's gonna be punching and reaching too much down and a little bit tired, mouth breathing. And I think Ray Cooper's third gonna be able to count him over the top, drop him, and finish him off second round. So in this one, I got Ray Cooper the third via second round TKO.